So I just bought my PlayStation 5 yesterday and I'm really, really enjoy the advanced controller. And also I'm curious about its power consumption. So this review is solely focused on its power consumption. Uh, we have uh, just restarted uh, for about two minutes and it's idling like this. So we're consuming around 50 watts, right? Okay, so maybe we let's try power it off. See if uh, anything changes. I'm preparing to power off your PlayStation 5. Okay, it is off. You can see it's only taking a little bit of interest, uh, energy under one watt. Sometimes it jumps to 0.5 and 0.7 watts. Yeah, so I'm using that uh, fast boot up mode. So let, let's power it on, let's see, see it again. Okay, it is starting up. As you can see, the light is blue. We're looking at 66 watts. Seventy one watts after reboot. Okay, I'm gonna play the demo game a little bit and see if anything changes. That's the demo game from Sony. It is a free game that came with the controller. I'm sorry, it came with the console. Okay, the power consumption jumped to 122 watts. One hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty-six. By the way, this is a four K monitor, so it is driving a four K monitor. Okay, press any key to continue. Let's keep an eye on the um, power meter. Okay. Fifteen. 150, 184, almost 200, okay. One hundred and ninety-five. So when you're playing the game, it's one, it's almost 200, 200, yeah. It's running at full power. Almost 200 watts. Okay, let's go. One hundred and fifty four. Okay. When the scene is less complex, the power consumption dropped, of course. Okay, I guess that's it. I can power off. Like that. Into rest mode. This is rest mode. Do, do not unplug AC power. Or it may cause, you know, um, storage damage. It has to go through the repair progress. Okay, 44, 43. It may take a while. Okay, 60. Yeah, in this mode, it may download the other games that you're putting download queue for uh, when it's in the rest mode. So only four to five watts, three watts. So it is very efficient. Yeah. yeah the fan is off, definitely. Okay, only one watt, 1.7. 
Yeah, so you do not have to worry about when it's in rest mode, it does not consume a lot of electricity. So I think this is a acceptable um, as a trade-off for fast booting up feature, right? So as I power it on, it jumped right back to the 60, 70 range. You add 120 watts when it's playing games, when running at full power. Yeah, okay. 190. Sweet. This is very interesting to look at. Um, well, for the place, uh, for the Xbox One S, it's usually around 50, 40 to 50 watts, actually. It's so only, um, you know, a quarter of the com consumption of a PlayStation 5. Yeah, this power consumption. If I go to Call of Duty Warzone, I bet this is a very computing in intensive game. Call of Duty Warzone. Use this time to practice. It will be deployed soon. Well, this is cool. 112. It has not been updated for the PlayStation 5 yet, so these uh, vibration is not there and the trigger is still very light. Wow, wow, wow. And this is 4K, it looks fantastic. This is so much better than my Play uh, Xbox One S. And look at the power consumption. It is even lower than the uh, demo one from from Xbox included demo nap. This is amazing. Yeah, this is a true 4K monitor for my Xbox. I use this one for all kinds of testing. You know, wow. This is so interesting. I love this controller, but the power um, consumption is really high. I already dropped one bar today. Look at the power consumption. It did not exceed 120, so, which means it's not actually, you know, working as hard as the one included, you know. I'm really surprised that this game didn't take as much energy as the previous demo game. And this is 4K. I'm not sure the refresh rate though. Yeah, the refresh rate, I, I guess at, at least 60 hertz, right? Looks fantastic. Yeah, we'll totally play this one on a keyboard, but I'm just re really wait looking forward to the uh, controller um, compatible update from this game. This controller is really amazing. Yeah, I love this. Oh, this is the map view. Okay, great. This is the review. All right, let me power it off. Just like that. 72. Okay, it is going into rest mode. It will take about 30 seconds to go into rest mode. 
Okay, there you go. Okay, I just entered the true powered off mode and it is still consuming a little bit of energy in this mode. There isn't much difference. And actually sometimes it consumes more than in the rest mode. So I would uh, recommend just put it in rest mode. The only catch is that you cannot power off. Uh, if you do so, next time you boot up, it may take a minute or two to do the uh, self-diagnostics as well as the you know uh, hard drive repair. So yeah, just just use uh, the rest mode. It does not save much energy by you know t turning it completely off.